Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palettes. I didn't grab both, but I did grab the Lightgasm. In this video, I'll share my first impressions as I apply this for the first time today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ange. This is a friendly space for mature women where I share beauty and lifestyle videos that can help you be fabulous over 50. If that sounds like you, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. And if you click on the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload videos. Please feel free to check out the description box down below where I will leave links to everything that I talk about in today's video details of this pretty palette it is beautiful i am a real sucker for charlotte tilbury products this is no exception with the packaging of this palette it has a four colors in this it has a bronze a multi-glow shade a highlighter and a cheek pop shade i I'm wearing them today there's been a lot of talk about the fact that they there is no pigmentation and people cannot build up the color from these palettes from the feedback I was watching I decided to try a natural hair brush and I tried out for the first time the Sonia G sculpt 2 brush it appears that if you use a more natural hair brush that you can get more color payoff from this palette. I didn't have any trouble whatsoever trying out the shades in this as far as pigmentation went. The palette retails for 75 US dollars. This is the lighter of the two palettes in Lightgasm. There is a darker palette which I will show here which is called Lovegasm and I decided by the tones of the bronzer that I would go for the Lightgasm rather than the Lovegasm palette. I will leave links down below to where you can get this palette and if you would like to see how I went applying this to my face today, please keep watching. Okay, so this is the gorgeous palette from Charlotte Tilbury, the Glowgasm Face Palette. And is, this is in the shade Lightgasm. After receiving this, I'm wondering if I should have got the Lovegasm Palette, the slightly darker one. As these are fairly light in here but we'll give it a go because i'm in new zealand and i bought this from beauty lush it's just too much of a hassle to send back so i'm going to go in with the bronze shade and i am trying this brush out for the first time it's the sonia g sculpt 2 brush and There have been a lot of people feeding back that this is very sheer. I've also noticed with reviews that it does make a difference the type of brushes that you use. So I am using a natural hair brush. And I actually don't mind myself having a colour that needs building as opposed to something that goes in really pigmented first off and I do have to say that shade is pretty good for me and the reason I didn't go for the darker one just from looking at it online was actually the shade of the bronzer color and I do have to say I feel that this is a good shade for me and I wonder if I did go for the next one up that it could be too dark I like this brush too we'll take it down the sides of my nose and this is where nice having a shade that doesn't go in too pigmented if you are wanting to bronze your nose you don't want to look zebra like I'm loving this brush I 
I think that that colour bronze is really nice, natural, blended well. I do think this brush with the natural hair has helped. I haven't tried it with a synthetic hair brush, but I will do that during the week. Now the colours of the blushes are quite pale. I might, I'm going to try both of them. I'm going to go with the multi-glow colour first. And I'm going to go in with the Sonia G Cheek Pro brush. And go in with that on the cheeks. This is where I think the palette could let me down. As far as the colour showing up on me goes. It's got a lot of highlighty glow to it. Very reminiscent of the first time that I tried the Becca palettes out. So if anything that didn't add a ton of colour to my cheeks, it did however provide a lot of glow. So now I'm going to use the same brush and go in with the cheek pop colour and just pop that on the apples of my cheek. Once again, that's just really given lots of glitter and glow and I hate to say it, it's really, really accentuated texture on my face. I'll just try and pop in really close to see if you can see the texture it's showing on my cheek. So I'm going to go back in with the bronzer brush and try and just blend that out a little bit. I actually also too wonder how much of it's down to the powder I've used today and it totally could. So I'm going to cut away, I'm going to go and wash my face off. I used the Jeffree Star setting powder today, I thought I'd give it another, <laughs> another chance. And I think this is just another occasion of where I think it's let me down. So I'm going to duck off, I'm going to wash my face, I'm going to apply new foundation. I am going to check though, I'm only going to do it down here. New foundation and powder and then I'm going to try again with this to see if it makes a difference to that whole texture bit there. Okie dokie, take two. Same foundation the Huda powder and let's see if this makes a difference to that horrible texture that was showing up before. I do have a feeling it might still happen again for the fact that it is so shiny and glittery. So we'll go in with the bronzer first. I have to say I do love the brush. So for me, that is really good pigmentation right off the bat from that um, bronzer. So that's bronzed side, unbronzed. And I do feel that that is really good colour. So I do really do think that if I did go for the darker palette, that it just maybe a wee bit orangey and warm in the bronzer colour. Of course I've gone for a really easy hair day today. Down the nose. Love the 
this brush. Okie doke, so now going in with the Cheek Pro brush again and we'll do the same order. We'll go in with the Apricotty colour. Yeah, for me, this isn't so much of a blush colour as to me, it's just another highlighty colour. And more of a cheek topper. Still pretty over the bronzer, but I don't think it, it's not really a cheek colour I would go for. So we'll go for the pop colour just on the cheeks. Not my cup of tea as far as a cheek colour would go. To me that's a highlighter. So I'm going to go in with I'm going to blend that out with the bronzer again and then I'm going to sneak in and show you that the texture is definitely different. Texture on the cheeks there a lot better than what it was with the Jeffree Star Powder. So it's definitely confirmed how I feel about that. Okay, so we're going to go in with the highlight colour. And I'm using the Anastasia A23 brush. Hopefully this is glowy rather than glittery. Okay, so that's the highlight. My first impressions with this palette, I would have thought that that was more of a champagne colour. The highlight there. But on my cheeks, it has really shown up gold. Now, it could just be my colouring, and the reason I went for the Lightgasm is that everyone was really quite blown away with the glow of the highlighter in this palette. For me, it is definitely more of a glittery highlighter. It isn't one of those subtle, just glow highlighters. It's definitely a glittery gold highlighter for me. Now I am going to take that a little bit further and I'm going to use a Morphe R37 brush and I'm going to take the bronzer colour and I'm just going to use that in my crease. run it underneath my eye. I'm trying to make this a sort of a quick option. And go in with the same brush and this top colour and run that all over the lid. Good 
make a nice sort of summery spring summery evening look I'm going to go in with my finger with the highlight color and just tap that on the lid on the inner portion And then just go back with the brush to blend the edges. <clears throat> go in with a little wee pencil brush and put some in the inner corner. Some mascara. I'm not using any liner or anything because this would be a sort of a summer nights look if I was to wear this look even though we're going into winter here. So that's using the palette on my eyes as well. Okay my thoughts. I really like the colour of the matte bronzer. I like the blendability of the matte bronzer from this palette. The quality of the mirror in here, fabulous. But I think out of the four colours that are in this palette, I only really truly like, first impressions, the bronzer. Now it's 75 US dollars for this palette. And the fact I have the two Becca, Chloe and Malika palettes, I think value for money, the Becca absolutely blows the Charlotte Tilbury out of the water. That's just my opinion. So this is the Chloe palette for the Becca and this is the Charlotte Tilbury. So Charlotte Tilbury, Becca. They are so darn similar in colours, it's crazy for a start. And the Becca one definitely has far more pigmentation than the Charlotte Tilbury and doesn't look as chunky. But that's my opinion and then of course I get a lot of wear from the dark palette the Malika palette as well I have probably been picking this palette up more for the blush colors than I have for the Chloe palette at the moment I am basically picking this up on a daily basis because of the colours in here so I love these equally the Becca palettes and just my first impression it could change I feel the only colour at the moment I'm in love with is the bronzer in here the other colours in here are just too glittery and I do feel they highlight my texture. So I'll play with it some more. Definitely made a difference with the powder I use. The Jeffree Star powder is going today and I'm not going to use that again because I do have a horrible makeup day each time I use that powder. I love the concealer. But I definitely don't like the powder and that was evident today with me having to wash my foundation off and starting again. So my final thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette in Lightgasm is that for $75 I could have saved that money. And these are only 44 US dollars so I think value for money I think there's far a far better for bang for your buck 
and I think I, I, I'm going, I use all the colours out of these palettes whereas I can't see myself using all the colours in this palette because they're just too chunky glittery. That's how I feel at the minute. But then first impressions with the Chloe palette I thought it was rather uh, sparkly and yet I'm wearing it every day. So I'll play with the Charlotte Tilbury a little bit more. Do have to say first impressions though. I think value for money. I, I would just get the better ones in my opinion. $44 as opposed to $75. So to be honest it could have been a this or that video. This definitely over that. <laughs> okay guys I do hope you enjoyed that please let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palettes have you had any experience with them I'd love to hear down below please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel down below I'd love to see you back I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day see you later guys bye